Mr. President, Al Salam Foundation, together with Americans for Democracy and Human Rights in Bahrain, the Bahrain Institute for Rights and Democracy, and the Bahrain Center for Human Rights, would like to call the Council's attention to the high number of arbitrarily detained political prisoners in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Among those detained and subjected to physical and psychological torture at Bahrain's Jao Central Prison are prominent opposition figures, professors, religious leaders, doctors, and human rights defenders. Dr. Abdulil Singais, a professor, blogger, and human rights activist, was sentenced on 17 March 2011 for participating in peaceful protests, and he was subsequently sentenced to life in prison. Uh, security forces subjected him to severe and prolonged torture that targeted his physical disabilities. Fadl Abbas, the Secretary General of Al Wahdawi Opposition Party, was convicted of spreading false information on 28 June 2015 after he suggested that Saudi led airstrikes in Yemen violated international law. Hassan Mushaima, an activist, teacher, and secretary general of the democratic reformist Al-Haq movement, was sentenced to life imprisonment following his involvement in 2011 peaceful protests. Sheikh Ali Salman, leader of Bahrain's largest opposition society, Al-Wafaq, was sentenced to four years in prison in June 2015 for inciting disobedience. Abdul Wahab Hussein, a founding member of Al-Wafaq, was arrested on 17 March 2011 and subsequently sentenced to life in prison. Muhammad, al Muhammad Habib al-Muqtad, a prominent religious figure, social activist, and Shia cleric was arrested in April 2011 and sentenced to 68 years in prison for criticizing human rights violations in Bahrain. Women are likewise confined for arbitrary sentences in Bahrain's Isa Town Detention Center. Just yesterday, the prominent human rights activist Zainab Al Khawaja was taken to Isa Town Prison along with her 15 month old son to begin a three year, one month sentence for her peaceful expression. We therefore call on Bahrain to release all arbitrarily detained political prisoners as a first and crucial step towards restoring Bahrain's path to national dialogue and reconciliation. Thank you.